Woke up sound and strong this morning A lot of questions on my mind It's to you the rest of the Do we care? Do we worry? About the way this world is going About the million things I still Do we dream of another world Someone knows District, District, we say you are highly welcome. Firstly, we want to extend many thanks and appreciation to you for what you have done for us as Liberia. You are convinced us that indeed we did not elect you for nothing, but because of what we saw in you. Your 12 months are overwhelmingly convinced us that indeed the next five years will not be easy when it comes to development. Having said that, for and on behalf of the people of this noble city where the nation hospitality begin. We now present to you this key. This key represents the authority of this city. So that we give you the authority, so that as you enter the city, you can be able to use the authority to make sure that development flow. And don't forget, as you leave, you make sure that you present our authority. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, I'm ready to go and leave you. <laughs>
program marking the turning over of the Bikana Station Boathouse and Ren held at Bikana City, Grand Basel County, Liberia. On this date, February 6, 2019, at this time, I'm Warren Officer Betty Heron Key, and I will be your Master of Ceremony for today's event. Your Excellency, Dr. George Manawia. President of the Republic of Liberia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia. May I have your permission for a moment of silence for our Deputy Minister for our Operations, Ministry of National Defense, Honorable Enders Vafi, who met his early demands recently. Thank you. You may have a seat. His Excellency Dr. George Manawia, President of the Republic of Liberia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia, our Excellency Madam Christine Edder, United States Ambassador to Liberia, Major General Danda D. Zanga Retire, Minister of National Defense, Major General Prince, C. John, Prince Charles Johnson III, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of Liberia, Officials of Government, Distinguished Guests, Member of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is important to recollect that before the inception of the Liberian Coast Guard, the maritime integrity of Liberia was being ubiquitous of maritime crimes, including illegal bungering, armed robbery, and illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activities. But since the activation of the Liberian Coast Guard in 2010, tremendous efforts have been made to ensure that violators are brought to justice. And so today marks another remarkable day in the history of the armed forces of Liberia, as we receive this decorous facilities which will serve as a conduit to advance the Liberian Coast Guard operations to other counties. Your, ex Your Excellency, government officials, distinguished guests, I am honored to invite to the podium the commander of the Liberian Coast Guard, Commander John Wadey, for the welcome remarks. I bring greetings to you from the Liberian Coast Guard staff and crew. In the short term, what I serve as acting commander of the Liberian Coast Guard, I come to appreciate that this unit is unique, specialized in performing aid duties. As law enforcement mission that we carry on, as well as military responsibilities, to be able to curtail illegal crimes on the waters, we are Liberian Coast Guard mandated to carry on these duties, where we use the opportunity to interdict illegal fishing 
and all of violators on the Liberian waters. In keeping with this, the Liberian Coast Guard has gone a long way with the help of the U.S. United States government in developing the Liberian Coast Guard from a lower strength to a higher strength, wherein they allowed us constructions beginning from today, this new boathouse and previous one, as the previous boathouse at both station Freeport, uh, LCG headquarters and living quarters, and also other contributions with respect to equipment, boats that we are benefited from in order to make us perform our duty as per with respect to the National Defense Act. Today is a historical day that marks that we cannot alleviate our partnership with the United States government through the armed forces of Liberia. With all of the support given unto us, including maritime advisors as U.S. Coast Guard personnel that help mentor us to be able to perform our duty, wherein they provide training, capacity building, so that we'll be able to perform this duty as Liberian Coast Guard. With some of the development, they are also currently constructing a new boat pier at the Freeport Boat Station. His Excellency, President of the Republic of Liberia, in particular, the benefit since 2009 we have gotten from the United States government. We have been able to serve and to do those things in the past nine years that get us to where we are today. With all of all that being given unto us, we at Coast Guard pledge that we do everything possible with the support given unto us to be able to perform the duty as a respect to the Liberian, respect to the National Defense Act. With this, I want to say all are welcome to this ceremony. This ceremony marks a lot for the Liberian Coast Guard. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency, Dr. George Manu, we are. May I request the permission to welcome to the podium the County Superintendent for remarks. Mr. President, with the permission of the higher office of the land, we want to say we're grateful. The people of Baza are very grateful to the United States of America, the government, and people of the United States of America for the tremendous efforts given to Liberia. We know as America being our traditional father that gave birth to this country, we know that many things will be done in Liberia, meaning Grand Basel County. Mr. President, we appreciate the United States government through UC with a rural project that is ongoing in Grand Basel County as well. Coming here today to dedicate such a project, a boat house, that is a unique way of identifying with the people of Liberia through the armed forces of the Republic of Liberia. Mr. President, on behalf of the citizens of Grand Basel County, we appreciate the leadership and we want to appreciate the government of America, whatever they have done and what they continue to do for the people of Liberia through your office. Ladies and gentlemen, words are inadequately expressed, but what we see here today there is a clear manifestation that the armed forces of Liberia is equipped and will be equipped to help monitor the territorial jurisdiction, meaning the water and even the land that you govern, Mr. President. Thank you so much that God bless all and save the state and let Liberia move forward and let Basel progress. Basel first, Basel last. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Mr. Permission to call to this podium Chairman of the County Legislative Caucus for remarks. Let me first begin by saying to God be the glory, great things he has done and greater things he is about to do in our country. 
We are so happy to be here today to witness the opening and dedication of such a unique project. We want to say a very big thank you to the people of America for granting to us this project in this part of Liberia. I will want to use this occasion to welcome all of you to the land of hospitality in Liberia. And we hope that your stay here today will be a remarkable one. History will be kind to us today and will remember us for such a unique project that will serve our people through the armed forces and the Liberal Coast Guard. We are once more very happy and we pray that God's continual blessing will be showered upon this, con upon this country through your leadership, Mr. President, and the Liberian government. Once more, we say thank you and may God Almighty continue to shower his blessing on us and may he save our state and Grand Bassa County. Thank you once more. Excellency Dr. George Manawia, President of the Republic of Liberia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia. Major General Dando D. Zanga, retired Minister of Defense. Major General Prissy Johnson III, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of Liberia. Official of Government, distinguished guests, I am honored to present to this podium the Ambassador, the U.S. Ambassador to Liberia, Ambassador Christine Edder for remarks. His Excellency, President of the Republic of Liberia, George Manewea, Commander-in-Chief, Chief of Staff, Minister, Minister of Defense, Minister of State, Chairman of the Legislative Caucus, Chairman of the, uh, uh, the House Armed Services Committee, Senators, uh, IG. It's truly an honor to be back here in Buchanan today in Gran Bassa. I, last time I was here was about a year and a half ago. And maybe the people of Gran Bassa and Buchanan know me better by my Bassa name, which is Mane de Pe. <laughs> Mr. Superintendent, thank you very much for welcoming us and hosting us. Uh, uh, Commander Willie, uh, we're very proud of what you've done uh, here today. And to see it, I've heard about it from our team. Commander George and uh, Colonel Safir have been telling me about this for a long time. But to see it, there's nothing like seeing it in person. And we're very proud of what, what your team has done and what they've done to, to merit this. You know, I, I've heard stories about 10 years ago when the Liberian government came to us and said, will you help us to rebuild the Coast Guard? It's not easy when your services have been taken down to scratch and started again, as we know with the, with the AFL. We gladly accepted that challenge. And it's been our honor and our privilege over the last nine years to help build up the capacity, 10 years even, of the Coast Guard to where you have it today. The expansion that this represents beyond what you're able to do in the free port of Monrovia has tremendous implications for the security and the protection of your country. The ability to protect your coast, the ports, and the citizens of this nation. The United States has provided support to the Liberian Coast Guard through the training and the equipment given to the Coast Guard personnel and by building new structures. People can be well trained, but the Coast Guard needs boats. They need boat houses to be able to ma maintain this and places to do the training. Uh, some of you were with us in the free port of Monrovia a few months ago when we dedicated a boat house there as well. And now it's important to extend that uh, here to Buchanan to extend your reach and your ability to protect those borders. What we've provided here today uh, was a grant to enable this construction, a grant not a loan, I know min ministers like uh, grants over loans, uh, a grant to the people of Liberia. It's our gift from the American people to the Liberian people.
Madam Ambassador, I want to take this time to extend my heartfelt thanks and appreciation to you for allowing us to enjoy this facility. More often than not, we pay a lot of attention to our land forces component of the defense sector. Our maritime domain remains a great target for us to look at. And it is a tactical priority for us. For now, we can go from Morovia to Bikana, and then we can increase our tactical and operational footprint from here to the port of Greenville. I look forward to us working together for us to develop the port of Greenville and the port of Harper. I want to thank the engineers and our sailors who work here tirelessly to get this work done. So the chief of staff, I need not remind you about the tactical, the professional usage of this facility and the maintenance. We will work together to protect the territorial integrity of Liberia, and that includes the maritime domain. I want to take this time to applaud all of my sailors who have been working, but we have not had that platform to extend our footprint. We will work with other security apparatus to increase our tactical, operational, and also to look at our interoperability for the security of our maritime domain. Mr. President, Madam Ambassador, distinguished guests, thank you so much, and we will appreciate if we can just go through all the facility as we call the ribbon. Thank you so much. As the Coca Chair started, stated, he said to God be the glory. And I said to God be the glory for the artifacts. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
The essence for us now, no need to truck this boat to come here. We can now, it can stay here, we can bring it and launch from here, and we go to now Green, Greenville. We go, as usual, we never had this, and we used to use a smaller Zosodia, that is like 540, 550 Zodia. So with this boat now, we'll be able to cover the boat like Greenville and even come back and do refilling. So it's a big boost for our maritime patrol. And like I was telling you, also in there about the tactical and operational capability. We used to come from Bikan, uh, from Morovia and come to Bikana. We did not have the chance to take the boat to carry in there because here you can now uh, tow it in there, you maintain it and do whatsoever you want to do in the boathouse there. So now this will really, really give us that platform for us to do it. Yeah, that's one of the biggest that's the advantages. Yes, Thank you, John. Oh, bad luck. And this is, and this is, I mean, it, like I can say forever because the news is the best. But uh, it's not like the floating pier where the stick will go or the, or let's say the rubber or planks whatsoever they will be washed away. This is a standing other way in there, like you said, low tar, high tar. You can still come and bring the boat. So. And I, I think part of what how we see it as well as the increased security presence and capability only adds to the economic opportunities as well. And these two together are what really can lift up this region and, uh, and I think be a model going forward. This is, is important. We all fought in global terrorism. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of terrorists use water, so it's important to protect our waters. Very proud Liberians built it. So thank you. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Many, many jobs as well. So well done. So maybe we'll get some funny again, some more grant again. We want to extend our footprint to Greenville, then we can look for him. <laughs> I, think, I think if this if this is well maintained and um, you know done well, and that's a lot of hard work. You know, the sea is rough on these vessels. You got to clean them, flush them. You know, maintain them is harder here than in some other places. But I think if it is done well and with great seriousness. Um, we're going to be your partner uh, to keep growing the Coast Guard and building the Coast Guard and extending those capabilities. You can count on us for that. God bless, God bless America. God bless the US. That's why you say I become an SOP. I don't need to tell him. That's why I said in the, the maintenance, he knows that very well than me. Because I'm not wearing a uniform again, so he got to take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and, the people, and the people of Grambasa, too, to see this as a real asset and yeah. to help support it yeah. in the community and in the legislature. Uh, those who live here, uh, adopt, they may not be from Grambasa, but adopt them as your own, the sailors who are here at the time, and welcome them into the community. Yeah. Now it's important to profit the deed. All right. We'll make sure that they have ownership. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this time we just let the chief watch the Coast Guard guys to do small demonstration out there. I woke up sound and strong this morning. A lot of questions on my mind. Is 
Stay alive. 